Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while that I haven't done a proper makeup tutorial. Like just sit and like really talk through the whole makeup tutorial. So I'm gonna do this today and I am so happy that I did it today. Um, so I did a makeup tutorial on this look as you can see right now, this all glammed up look. And I'm using this particular brand that is based in Burma, Myanmar. Um, so he came out with this these um, beauty product line like makeup product line that is called Sign Cosmetics like S A I Sign Cosmetics. He just recently like launched this line. Okay, so by him like by he mean like he is like a famous um, you know pop star hip um, rapper. I don't know. He mainly uh, make this beauty product line, especially for his fans. Like he has like a ginormous um, girl fan base. He came up with this plan to make a you know beauty product line with his name on it. This video is also mainly for them. Um, so right now he has like seven lip colors. He came up with lipsticks, which is like liquid, but it's like not too drying. Like it's really good and, and on my lips i'm wearing um summer fling and he also recently just came out with um, two eyeshadow palettes one has blush and one has like bronzer in it they are called um starry eyes and gold dust and i'm using both of them in this tutorial and also he has beauty blenders from his line he has like pink black and this color so he came out with black eyeliner it's a pen eyeliner which is my favorite type of eyeliner to use so i'll be using these products in this video and i'll be giving you guys review at the end of this makeup tutorial so just watch till the end so without further ado let's get into it i want to put contact lenses in front of the camera okay now i'm just gonna apply lip balm This is lip butter from Palmer's. You can get this anywhere. Okay, so before I start, I'm just gonna do like a quick skincare routine that I normally do before I apply makeup. So I'm gonna use this um, Hola Anti Wrinkle Toner. So I'll just put like five drops of the product in to my skin. And it's on my neck. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply moisturizer, which is from Sukin. I just started using this. It's not bad, I like it. <clears throat> I'm sorry if I sound bad in this video. My throat is killing me right now. <clears throat> I'm drinking tea for my sore throat. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply base slash primer i'm currently using this 3ce which is also like moisturizing and which also makes your face looks like a baby butt and i make sure i apply more on the teeth because it's been like drying so bad recently so it smells so good it smells like um baby johnson's cream this is my current favorite foundation right now it's from LA Girl is the Pro Coverage HD Foundation and my color is in natural. So I'm just gonna pop it on my hand to get warm and I'll be using this makeup sponge from Size Cosmetics. So the thing about this sponge is um you know it's pretty decent for like a new product makeup product brand i like it a lot but just one thing is that um, it needs to be like a bit longer and pointier like beauty blenders because like when you have to go into the crease like under the eyes like it's not pointy enough to like really get into the corner like underneath yeah just that i'm gonna put concealer underneath my eyes and i'm using this maybelline um concealer in the shade fair apply it underneath my eyes 
I'm recently loving this concealer. I still like my Catrice concealer too. I look ridiculous. So, and then I will just put like all the areas that I want to highlight. I'll use the blender to blend out. I look kind of scary with this contact lenses and then this foundation face. Sorry about the face. Okay, so to set my face, I'm using this um, Maybelline Fit Me powder, which is in the shade 120. I'm like very generous with powder because I don't like, you know, the tacky feeling when you wear like layer of foundation concealer I hate it I don't know like how I survived way before I didn't know like I just said foundation okay that's enough I'm just gonna do my brows quickly so I'll be right back so I did my eyebrows okay I just want to show you this part um so I did my eyebrows I just fill in with the brow powder like I would normally do shape my brows with the brush and then just um you know, extend it a bit to look longer because my normally my brows are really short and just like bushy so it doesn't have much shape and um, as you can see I've got like straight cube like right in the beginning of my brows so it looks really bad I don't like that so, so I'm just gonna fade it out um, the harsh edges so what I normally do is I take this this kind of like brush which is like not too round or flat um, it's in the middle and I'm just gonna grab this like clean brush and I'm just gonna put the brush tip on the edge of my brows and I'm just gonna try to wiggle it so that I'll blend it so that's what I normally do and then after that I'm just gonna apply some brow gel I need to train my hair to like you know stay up the whole day I'm just gonna use this um, eyebrow gel from Essence. It's only like what, four dollars? It's good. So I'm just gonna use this Elf Contour Palette. They all are like powder. I don't like using cream that much because like I'm just lazy to like blend. Um, but um, one of my palette has um bronzer shade in um, starry eye palette i actually use this but um i don't like having shimmer on my bronzer so i won't be using their um bronzer so i'm just gonna use this one i'm just gonna do my stroke i would never go out like without bronzer like if i have like foundation on and i'm just gonna hide my double chin looks so intense in the camera and then just a bit on the on my forehead because I have a white forehead I'm just gonna tone it down a bit whoa it's okay it's okay it's okay and then I'm just gonna brighten my under eye with this color And then I'm gonna um, contour my nose. Normally, I c only contour my nose with Hulu bronzer, but it's not near me right now, so I'll just use this. Normally, I will focus on the the part like between my eyes because it's like flatter than the um, nose bridge here so I'll just like focus on that more because us Asian has like really flat um, nose the part in between our eyes sorry about my voice, it's just like so cold these days my throat is like acting up it's time to do eyes so I'm gonna use this Milani um, eyeshadow primer and I'm just gonna apply with my fingers set my primer i'm gonna be using some light color starry eyes palette they don't have anything light or matte i'll be using something from the gold dust palette be with what doesn't 
have um, that powder to set my eye primer. So, Sad Cosmetics, if you're watching, you should include one matte color, something like this. But this has like shimmer, so this doesn't work. So I'll just be using this color. And I'm just gonna set, don't worry, I'm gonna zoom you guys in. What I always normally do is like I find my crease line. So um, what I normally do is like I would apply transition shade, which I normally choose is like lighter browns. So something like this, but this is a bit too dark, but it's okay. I can just go really light. So I'm just gonna dip into this. One thing about these side palettes are that they're really pigmented and the texture and everything is really good. When you dip your brushes in, to the product like the product will fall off but I mean that happens to like mostly all of the eyeshadow palettes I'm just like building up this um, shade I'm just like doing the same with this eye too go very light on the first layer and then like just build it up as you go I'm trying to do the cut crease look with using these palettes so Honestly, it's my second time doing cut crease, so please bear with me if I messed up. See, I only did like one time with this brush, like after I use this, and it's still like the color is still on there and so pigmented. So a little goes a long way with this palette. Whenever you're dipping your brushes into these colors, like just go really lightly. Don't worry, it's not perfect you can always blend it out with clean fluffy brush i'm just gonna do this like kind of like a flick and then what i'm gonna do is take a um, clean fluffy brush this is my favorite uh, blending brush this is from sephora number is 230 sorry about the noise and i'm just gonna blend I mean, blend as in like you just need to like tone down the harsh edges, but you're not like completely erasing the line. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm done blending this color called Romance. So just underneath this Romance color, I'm gonna pop this purple shade from um, Starry Eyes palette, which is called Wish. I'm just gonna pick it up with the brush and then lightly dip it in and then just tap off the excess and then put it like right underneath just to give like a tinge of purple so like uh, apply it like on the outer V of your eyes and then just blend it in inside like that. I'm gonna um, take the brush that I used earlier and then just maybe blend in those two colors. Let me zoom you guys a bit closer. Yeah. I'm just gonna go back in with the wish and then just like I'm just trying to like intensify the purple shade. This color is boom. I'm gonna go back with this blending brush. And I'm just gonna blend because I just feel like um, I'm having like um, like that curl and I I'm not liking it. After that, I'll take this really small flat brush and a concealer, Maybelline. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna dip in with the brush and I'm just gonna apply it like on like this part. So you just apply a really thin amount of concealer. It de all depends on how much thickness you want for to main concealer part. Because like I have like not too much space on my eyelids. So I'm just making it like a bit thinner. And I'm just going to pick a lighter color from the elf palette and I'm just going to set this. So after that, I'm just gonna go back in with this purple color and going back in with this brush to blend everything. 
The process is just going back and forth with, you know, blending and filling up the color. And you have to do like a really like flawless, you know, blending so that it looks good. I'm gonna pick up this color it's right in the middle, which is like iridescent sparkle, like glitters in it. It's called Dreamer Flat Brush, like this. It's clean, it's not the one that I used before. So I'm just gonna pick that up. And I'm gonna use MAC Fix Plus. And I'm just gonna spray it on the tip of the brush to um, make it make the color more like intense. So just keep that in mind. You can always use Fix Plus to intensify the color. So I'm just gonna put the color right on the center, like right on top of the concealer that I just set. See? And then I'm just gonna like do like a flick, like that, like a wing. So when you're happy with the look, you can move on to eyeliner. I'm also using um, eyeliner from Sai Cosmetics. Um, I haven't tried this eyeliner, so it's gonna be my first impression. So you can like shake it. It's a brush tip. This is so. This is what the brush tip looks like. So I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna go really thin, like a fine line. Okay, sorry about that. I didn't know that my camera went off. Um, so all I did was underline my waterline with the same color that I used on my lids. This brown, romance, and this purple wish. And then I just like um, mix them together and then just like put it like on the top of my waterline. And then I'm just like picking up this um, Maybelline Fit Me powder and then just like clean up the fallout underneath my eye. Now I'll put on some falsies and I'll be right back. I'm using these lashes that I found in Miniso. So I already applied falsies. And then I applied this Romo mascara for my upper lashes. And then for my lower lashes, I applied this um, Milani mascara. And, and then for my um, tear dot area, I mixed this Dreamer color with this Wonder Shimmer. And I will try the the blush called um, Darling in um, Gold Dust Palette. I'm gonna take this brush and then just, just gently. This is also so pigmented. I'm gonna apply it. And then I'm gonna put some highlight on my cheekbones and stuff. And I'm gonna take my Morphe M461 brush and then I'm gonna get this my favorite favorite color in all these pa palettes I'm gonna take this dreamer I'm gonna apply on my cheekbones Ooh, look how pigmented that is so I apply it on my nose bridge and on my brow bone and just a little bit on my temple on my cupid's bow and some on my chin Oh my god, I can't get over how beautiful this Dreamer shade is. It's my favorite, favorite. Like, it's almost like Anastasia Beverly Hills um, highlight, but it's like way prettier. Like, it has like this like glitter, like kind of holographic, like iridescent um, glitters. Whoever is watching from Size Cosmetics, I suggest you guys to come up with bigger pen of this shade as a highlighter so pretty i'm not joking okay now let's choose lip colors sign cosmetics came out with seven lip colors and um i think to match my eye look um it's kind of like purpley kind of shade and i'm gonna go with um summer fling so their lipstick uh, reminds me of the nyx soft soft matte soft soft matte lipstick or something yeah it reminds me of their mix lipstick okay so i am done and um for finishing touch i'm gonna spray 
something to hold these together. I'm gonna use this Milani um, Make It Dewy setting spray. I love this. Mm. Um, so black eyeliner, um, the tip is um, brush tip, it's not felt tip. For me personally, I prefer felt tip better than um, brush tip because uh, it's kind of wiggly as you're you know, applying eyeliner. It's a bit harder to apply eyeliner for my preference. So yeah, I prefer um, felt tip more than brush tip, but this is fine too. Like um, the line is really fine and the quality, like the intensity of the color is great the color payoff is really good it's a decent eye liner pen so for his two eyeshadow palettes my favorite has to be starry eyes in this palette it has um bronzer and it has like more color this like um burgundy maroon kind of like shimmer shape which is gorgeous and then it has um, purple which i use in this video it all of these are shimmer except for black and purple the only problem is that i don't like having like shimmer like for bronzer or like blush like i wouldn't use um you know shimmery bronzer but maybe like in the summertime i would just like go with the matte ones and this is called gold dust and this is more like a neutral shade now in this palette they um he included like three mattes and three shimmers which are like earthy like neutral tones um, that's great um but like i prefer like more color to, you know play around with um and then um, he included um blush also this one it has shimmer but i'm fine with like having shimmer and blushes but like not bronzer now um i also use this on my face right now okay so what was i saying sorry um my camera battery died so where was i um oh yeah i was saying i was reviewing the palettes yeah so they're perfect except for the bronzer has like shimmer i think they will also be like coming out with like another new palettes so i'm really like excited to see what they come up with next um so yeah oh yeah um as you can see, my hands are all blue because thanks to sign, he wrote like a note for me for my sister A3 with his sign. It's pretty cute. Thank you so much, brother. But every time I touch this palette, like my hands turn blue. Um, I'm just kidding. Yeah, and what else? What else? What else? Yeah, came out with beauty blenders as I said before. Um. I love the fact that it's so fluffy and squishy and when you wet it like it actually turns larger than actual size so it's pretty much a decent beauty blender it's similar to OG beauty blender but just one thing if I have to say I just think they should make the tip like a bit longer and pointier just to really get into the crease like underneath your eyes and stuff to you know really blend in the concealer i'm not saying like it's not good but this tip is already fine too but like i just want to like just maybe i don't know suggest like um they might get like a bit like like point here to like really get into the crease and because um, um, liquid lipsticks are like really good they turn matte but like it's not too drying like Kylie Lip Kits. It's also like hydrating in a way too. If I have to compare with something, they remind me of the NYX Soft Matte Liquid Lipstick. The soft matte ones, I don't know. The Dofo applicator is perfect for flawless application. They're a bit similar. Like they have like nudes, like one maybe orangey brown and um, some pinks and red. So like maybe like come up with like you know like bold ones like dark purple or something like that. I don't know. Maybe they are like in the making. Thank you so much again, Sign for sending me these products. Um, I love that. Um, I'm not like being biased or anything. I just want to say I'm really like proud to know that like someone like that I know like came up with this really good quality products and 
I mean, I will definitely be like using this like all the time. Um, that's no joke. If you're in Sydney and if you guys want to try these palettes or like these um, side cosmetic products, you know, you can inbox me. I can order it for you guys. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Have a good day.